is it. This is the moment that everybody that's at home right now feeling nervous, they're feeling nervous because it's time for the bottom line. Yeah. So this is something that Michael affectionately calls the terrible twos, but officially it's officially it's the bottom line. Mike loves terrible twos. He loves to say bottom it's line. the terrible twos. I'll just call but, it the bottom line. But uh, he fights. He's like always like, I want to call it the terrible twos. And I'm like, no. I'll just call it the bottom line. I'm no, fine with you that. Okay, the bottom line. I'll give in. So it's the final two questions of the podcast. And they're also the two most important questions of the podcast. And people watching this for the first time are like, are you serious? I just watched like 45 <laughs> minutes of this. And now you're telling me the most important stuff is right now. So yeah, that's what we're saying. Fooled so, you. Yeah. <laughs> so question number one is Michael Kenyon Rosenberg on a scale of one to 10, what would you give monsters at work? First episode. Yeah. This first episode. Yeah. It's like I said, it was okay. It wasn't great. It didn't titillate me to want to to be invested in it that much but um i didn't hate it there was nothing that like made me want to throw up or made me want to like poke my eyes out with a fork um so i'm gonna give this one a six nice solid mostly six. wait mostly isn't that what i that... said you'd give it i don't remember Maybe. So I, I, I was going to give it a five, but just because of the top-notch voice talent that they were able to get, I'm going to give it that extra one. Giver. Yeah. You're a giver. Good man. Uh, <laughs> Jackie, your thoughts? Scale of one to ten? Well, um, there were a lot of things that I enjoyed. Uh, obviously, the voice talents. They were, you know, exceptional as always. I was... Uh, very happy that they brought, you know, a lot of the original cast back. Um, it's not a show I would, I would uh, be excited for, like, as far as like, oh, monsters at work. I gotta see that. It's more like, uh, uh, even before uh, you approached me about doing monsters at work, I was like, oh, okay, there's a show there. Like, I, I'll just, you know, um, maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I won't. If there's nothing else on, I'll, I'll watch it just to see it. Um, so now that I have seen it, it's like, okay. Um, like, it's something that I could actually binge, but more yeah, like easy, if I'm easy. Easy. You're walking that fine line on the second question. And Michael, oh, Michael no. and I are both sweating profusely because you're just <laughs> you're like walking that tightrope. Just oh uh, sorry. No, that's okay. Buggers. You'll find out in a moment why. <laughs> um so okay. If I so uh I'll one, just one, <laughs> one to ten. One to ten. I'll keep I'll stay on track. Um <laughs> I'll say uh I'll say I'm gonna do a little bit higher, not that it's a competition, Mike. Sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna say a seven point three. Very nice. Ah, 7. 3. Okay. Actually, the surprise is it is a competition and you win because you got the <laughs> higher score. <laughs> what a deal what a deal is that a, is that a spoiler for what my score is going to be yes, yes it is uh like michael i felt like this was pretty down the middle uh truly nothing i disliked about a couple things like that i mentioned that weren't you know where i was like oh you guys could do better and you should do better um felt like a five because there's nothing that i disliked about it nothing i really liked about it but I'm bumping it up to, similar to Mike, I'm bumping it up to a 5.5, not so much because of the voice talent, but because it's Pixar. Pixar is always going to be high quality, mm -hmm. even if the writing was a little bit mediocre in this one case. But Pixar is always solid. The fact that nothing was bad is already very good writing. That's, that's a, a tough feat to accomplish. So I'm giving it a 5.5. .5. Now, Jackie... The reason Michael and I were sweating so hard when you were walking that tightrope about binging <laughs> is because the second and final question here is now, sorry, let me start over. For the purposes of this podcast, we all had to watch the first episode of Monsters at Work. But now that the podcast is over and we're free to move about the internet, 
would you of your own volition watch the second episode? Because that's the real question that everybody wants to know. That's what Netflix wants to know when you're watching a Netflix mm-hmm. show. That's what Disney wants to know when you're watching a mm-hmm. Disney show. Would you watch the second? Michael, would you? I, uh, oh. oh, no, go ahead. I, 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 I would, um, mostly because of the top-notch voice talent. Um, I, I was very close on this one. I was waffling a lot, and I was like, oh, I don't know, would I? It's like, it, it didn't, there was nothing that really grabbed me and was like pulling me towards the next episode to, to force my head to, to watch it. Um, but then I was like, you know what? There's a lot of great voice talent. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see uh, what the voice talent does in this next episode. I'm in, I like I like the the Mindy character. I like the Henry Winkler. Uh, even though we're not going to see too much, uh, Mike and Sully, we are going to see some because Mike's going to give his comedy classes. So that that would be mm. interesting to watch. And yeah, so I I, I just barely tipped over to yes. And for all those people who are wondering, yes, Michael is long for Mike. Mm-hmm. Fact. Now, and Jackie, we have tortured you long enough. You've been wanting to tell us this since the very <laughs> beginning. You I've are been finally sweating bullets over you here. Are finally free to tell us if you, of your own volition, would watch the second episode. I definitely would. Um, mostly because not necessarily like, you know, oh, I've already watched it, so now I'm invested or whatever. It's not that it's a uh, a nail-biting episode or anything. It's, mm-hmm. they did set up, now, like first episode of anything is like always setting up a lot of exposition, always setting up, you know, what's going to happen later on, like to keep you glued. And there are some setups, like obviously, like with Mike Kozaski's, uh comedy school thing that's going to be, you know, him teaching. So it's like, okay, you can expect some more Billy Crystal um, mm-hmm. in future episodes. Um, obviously Val uh, and Tyler have like a misunderstanding sort of a relationship, like friendship. Like she thinks that they're really great friends and he's like, I barely know you. Like that's awfully, obviously going to be a dynamic. Um, and then of course there's the dynamic with Duncan. Like you do have established dynamics that have a lot of potential for future episodes. Um, and I think um, the whole MIFT group is definitely going to, like, I just see a lot of, like, if you're into the office, I feel like you're going to see a lot of those kind of uh, hijinks and things like that. So if you enjoy it, and I did enjoy the office, uh, you know, watching it way back in the day. So, you know, I've watched this again, like, it's just the office <laughs> in animation. Um, but also you have, you know, your old characters like Celia, Mike, Sully. Uh, well, uh, you don't have Roz anymore. You have Rose now. Nice, um, basically just Roz though. Um, so mm-hmm. you do have a lot of the old, but you also have a lot of potential with the new. And this is definitely uh, a show that you can binge anyway, because even if you're like, even if you're not watching it, you can still you can still really appreciate the voice acting. The voice acting is just really well done, even by the new characters, especially. So uh, there's just a lot to enjoy there. Um, and also, but the one thing, and I really hope Pixar is listening to this. Oh, they so are. Trust me. Okay. They, they are. Good. Good. Because, uh, you know, like Disney fans were all about like looking for Easter eggs and things like that. In the kids' room, the one where Tyler, uh, you know, goes in and tries to make the kid laugh, it's all very space and science related and everything. And I was just like hunting for a Buzz Lightyear, like yeah. somewhere in there. Didn't spot one. Didn't spot one at all. In fact, mm. I didn't, I like, unless there's just something that I missed, because like a lot of the scenes were going by really, really quick. And I mean, yes, I can pause very you know easily and whatnot but i was just like okay you have you have a kid who has a science room and no buzz light you're what's going on what what'd you do who dropped this ball Mm -hmm. who dropped the ball with a little star on it come on guys what's going on here um so yeah uh maybe like but again maybe it's me maybe i missed something maybe i missed a uh, an easter a potential easter egg and there were like also other things too that you just sort of saw that were kind of funny like um 
Uh, Tyler going through the doors, chasing the kid kind of sort of like, I don't know why that reminded me. Um, but it reminded me of a joke that the, uh, second toy story, I think did, or maybe it was the first toy story, um, where, uh, Mr. Potato Head's in the car and, uh, what's his name? He's the T-Rex. And he's like, it's a Jurassic Park joke, but I don't know why. Yeah. Um, nice. But yeah, that the Jurassic Park joke that I thought like, oh, that would have been really funny if he did that, you know, going through the door thing. But yeah, how do you do that anyway? Like, I don't know. I don't know why I thought it was funny. And it reminded me of that. So anyway, I, I would binge it. Long story short. Sorry. I just I I talk too much. I'm sorry. Uh, not at all this is a podcast and we mm-hmm. want you to talk <laughs> so this is this no is but i could great. i can go off on like a billion different directions like i had so many notes i was like i'm gonna write notes i'm gonna talk about these and i <laughs> talked about like maybe four no notes but it's great we, we take notes too and you need those notes because sometimes you'll find that we all go yep Mm-hmm. which means yeah i don't know what to say now and then we just look at our notes and we go oh yeah here's a fun and interesting thing so taking notes is the sign of a pro jackie thank you for yeah. doing that so that way if we ever ran out of things to say you'd be like let me pull something up for you guys and show you something. Uh, yeah Got however it's now time for me to end the suspense of whether i would watch the second okay, episode because this is my- what i've been waiting for yeah michael said <laughs> yes jackie said yes and I'm going to say no. I'm going to say Shocker. no because I'm angry and disappointed. No, but just mostly because there, you know, there's nothing in the story that, that grabbed me to make me feel like I need mm-hmm. to watch the second episode. It was fine to watch. It was very easy to watch. It was pleasant. I have no problems watching it if it's on. It's a very watchable show. It's an easy watch. But there was nothing that made me, you know, say like at the end, like some big twist that made me say, I got to find out. You know, sometimes they do that. They'll give you like a mediocre show that has like a crazy twist ending that forces you to watch the second episode. And it pisses me off when they do that. Whereas this was a decently done show, but there just wasn't anything big that's compelling me to watch the second episode so I can move on gracefully and live my life and not Mm -hmm. watch other second episodes of other shows. Yeah. Yeah. Brian See, hates that, like, watching next, next second episodes of anything. So, yeah. Well, unless there's a cliffhanger, then he's forced to. Whereas, like, he still in doesn't this like case, it. Ah. Uh, well, you're right. See, I like watching. I, I like watching a lot of no's in a row. The last <laughs> yes that we all gave was Loki. Yeah. Loki. Oh, you do. Oh, I love that. I love Loki. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We so, all do. Too. I watch- mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is it. Oh, it's time to close out, everybody. Uh, Jackie, okay. did you have something? It sounded like you're about to say something. I was gonna. I was just gonna argue with you. That's all. That you know, unless you want to hear me. No, argue I, I just. I think Loki was a really good show. I don't care if you didn't like it. <laughs> no, no. I, I I love Loki. Loki's a great show. I definitely am. Uh, I've actually already started uh, working on uh, Sylvie. Sylvie, so, oh nice, but not for Silicon, for just you know another convention, maybe Dragon Con. I don't know. We'll see. So everybody, or maybe at I'll home, do Sylvie instead of Samus. If you uh, haven't seen our Loki review, I'm sorry for the spoiler, but please watch the video. And you know, maybe I'm lying, like you know, or or maybe you forgot that I just said we would all watch the second episode, and we all rated it pretty decently. Um, but pretend I didn't say that and go watch that video. Uh, and find uh, out. Yeah. And besides that, show Jackie some love on the internet. Go follow her and uh, share her stuff. And uh, that's all in the description box below. Michael is telling us. And in the comments section below, tell us to review a show. Maybe it's your favorite show. Maybe you think it's a really weird show and you just want other people to see it to confirm, you know, are you going to think, am I crazy or is this show weird? And you want us to watch it and confirm that, yes, one of those two possibilities. Mm -hmm. Uh, and besides that, please make sure that you like this video and, uh, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Guess that's it. What I'm trying to say is that this podcast was like a granny apple Smith. Wait, is that no granny Smith apple Smith. Apple. I thought the apple was her middle name. (laughs) 
And Granny was not, her, not her breed. Yeah. You don't know any grannies? All right. I know my granny. That's all I got, Michael. It's your turn. I'm sorry. All right. This podcast was a big, furry, huggable monster. And this podcast was a pink lady. Nice. That's an apple because you said Granny Apple Smith, so I got to top that with with a much superior apple. So. You are right. You know what? I like Fuji apples. Those are Fujis are good. good. They're always solid. Oh. Honey crisps. Honey yeah. crisps are good. Yeah, too. they're very, they're very rarely liquid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're usually quite solid. No. Yeah. So what we're trying See, to say is I can make bad I'm, jokes too, no, Ryan. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I thought it was an Odo joke. Solids and liquids. Here we go. Here it comes. Don't forget what Mr. Michael Kenyon Rosenberg always likes to say. Don't forget to register to be an organ donor. And don't forget to watch the first of things. Freeze frame. Whoa. Awesome. What? I always cut it before this anyway. Oh.